What is up guys, Dr. Sammy here, and today I'm gonna painfully inject myself with this insanely large needle. So I'm definitely gonna inject myself later in the video, but I'm gonna be doing it in a way that's as painless as possible. And before I dive into that scene, I want to talk about anesthesia and why we give dental injections. So local anesthesia is used to make our patients feel as comfortable as possible when performing large dental procedures. Each one of our teeth is able to experience different sensations due to the unique innervation provided to the teeth in our mouth. This is why our teeth experience a shocking sensation when drinking something too cold and a painful sensation when biting on something too hard. Accordingly, we want our patients as comfortable as can be when removing a cavity. But that's where the problem lies. The numbing medication must be delivered through a needle apparatus, and a lot of people are phobic of the dental needle. I hear plenty of stories where the patient had a bad experience in the past and are consequently anxious to get any dental work done now. And there is some truth to those stories. Injections aren't the most comfortable process in the world. I mean, we're poking you with the needle. But dentistry has evolved, and there are a variety of techniques we do today to make the dental injection process as comfortable as possible. So what can your dentist do to provide for a better experience? Well, the first tip would have to be the use of a topical anesthetic, a cream that is placed on the gums prior to receiving an injection. This cream has a medication that can numb the first couple millimeters of the injection site, so it makes the initial pinch from the injection way more comfortable. The second tip would have to involve the injection speed. The evidence-based research has proven that a slower injection with minimum pressure can lead to a more comfortable anesthesia experience. And anecdotally, I have definitely experienced the pain that comes from a fast injection at an oral surgeon's office when I was younger, which ultimately led to me fainting in the office, but that's a story for another time. Finally, I would say that the temperature of the medicine can contribute to the pain level experienced when receiving an injection. It is important that the doctor warms the medicine or the carpules with a warming device or with their hands before giving the injection to make it as comfortable as possible. A lot of other things can be mentioned with regards to receiving a comfortable dental injection, but I believe the three things I mentioned give you a basic understanding of how we mitigate pain at the dental office. If y'all have any questions about the above steps, make sure to leave a comment below. But for now, it's time to give myself a shot. All right, so I'm definitely regretting my decision to do this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. <laughs> and if I'm super numb, it's Sunday, so I got nothing much to do, so that's fine. I'm gonna inject myself on the lower uh, teeth because it's easier to show you guys, and I know that some of you are gonna be like, did he really inject himself? So I can kind of show you how I'm injecting and all that jazz. So, first things first, I wanna dry out my tissue with a two by two. Let me make sure I'm in focus, yeah. With a cotton, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this in here because I don't want the saliva to take that topical anesthetic, the cream that I put on the gums, and wash to the back of my throat and make my throat feel numb. So I always like to put a, a two by two in the mouth before starting anything, so just like this. And then I take my Q-tip and I put it in my cream like that, like that, and I put it in my mouth. And I let that sit there for about, you know, a minute, I'll probably give myself a little bit more time because I'm just, you know, I'm doing it to myself. So it's a little bit more time for me, okay? Hmm. Okay, let's go to it. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of the experience, already starting to feel the anesthetic, but 
The topical cream is a little bit bitter. So you're gonna get that bitter sensation on your tongue. It doesn't taste the best, but it gets that initial anesthesia like we talked about. That injection, when it first goes through, you may feel a little bit of pinch. I felt a tiny little bit of a pinch, but it was very tolerable. And I made sure to go very slow because obviously I want the injection to, injection to be as comfortable as possible. I'm already feeling it, so I'm already not able to talk as fluidly. You can probably see my lip droop a little bit, but that's okay. It just feels as though there's little tingling dots, non-painful tingling dots on your lip. It feels like it's a little bit larger. But after that, I'm pretty numbed up. So you could take, do any dental work you want to my tooth, if I had a cavity, clean it out, and I'd be just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you now understand a little bit more about dental anesthesia and how we mitigate pain in the dental office. Um, if you have any questions or about experiences you've had or any questions about dentistry in general, I always encourage you guys to leave a comment down below. Uh, enjoy your day and I will see you for the next video. Thank you.